Okay, so guys, this is just a quick video on how to fix Cydia to make it stop crashing when it starts to load. Now this works on firmware 3.1, 3.11 for the iPod Touch, and 3.0.1 and 3.0 for any iPhone or iPod. Now what you're going to need is an SSH program, a uh, Mac, you can use Cyberduck or a couple of different ones, Windows, Windscape, or you know something like that. Once you have that, you need your iPhone running uh, OpenSSH. So if you don't have that already installed by Cydia, then it's not going to work. Um, so that's that's it, basically. That's all you're going to need. So go ahead and open up your SSH program and go ahead and uh, SSH into your device. You're going to go all the way, as you can see on my screen right here, you're going to go var, then lib, lib, then dpkg, and then updates. Once you're in that folder, there should be a couple things right here. If if your Cydia starts up and starts to crash, this could be one of the problems. And what these are, the files that should be in here, mine have already deleted. They're usually named 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001, 0, 0, 0, 0002, and so on, depending on how many packages you were installing when it crashed. Now, that's the thing. The reason why mine crash at startup every time was because I was installing something right in the middle it resprung I don't know why but right in the middle it just resprung and that made it I mean, everything was fine on the phone you know but Cydia wanted to crash every time so this is all you have to do for this instance there are other things if you guys need some help I may be able to help you but just for this one right now go ahead and try this first so go to var lib dpkg updates once you're in there, delete everything from there. Go ahead and respring your device, and then go ahead and go into Cydia. Everything should be fine. If it's not, it's not that problem. It's a different problem. Something you might have installed. So it all depends. You can try um, reinstalling Cydia or not. You know, that's an iffy situation that's kind of harder. But if you can, try this first. If you have open SSH, if you don't, you're basically going to have to restore and re jailbreak sucks i know but you're gonna have to do it all right guys um, if you need more help this was just a quick tutorial on how to fix Cydia from crashing on 3.1 3.0.1 and 3.0 and then on the ipod touch 3.1.1 and down same um all right guys if you need more help just message me uh later oh also one quick thing check out the website Got the website. It's a uh, pretty good so far. Um, got a couple things up. The downloads page is really going. I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the 3.1 firmware here. And also, for you people on Windows, I'm gonna throw up all the files you need. For uh, I'm gonna try to try. I don't have an account that I can do it for them, so I'm gonna try to throw up all the files that you need for the uh, jailbroken firmware. Um, it's gonna be hard, but we'll do it. All right, guys, um, I'll post up the iPhone firmware. Here's a bunch of dev files. You got some Nest ROMs. You got a bunch of applications for Mac. You got uh, this AVG virus, or antivirus, I mean, from uh, from Wint for Windows. All right, guys, just thought I'd throw this up. The I'll probably flash. Nah, I'll just go ahead and put it up here. So that is the website right there. Go ahead and make that as big as I can. All right. So that's the website right there, cjgonzalez1900.webs.com. 
And that's just basically my home page. Um, as you can see, iPhone, iPod, Mac, Apple, all one and the same. Go ahead and check it out. There's a lot of cool um, applications and everything up there. So check it out. Download anything you need. All the download links are through Mega Video or Upload.com. Check it out. Thanks, guys.